The Green Party of the United States GPUS, is a green federation of political parties in the United States. The party promotes green politics, specifically environmentalism, nonviolence, social justice, participatory, grassroots democracy, gender equality, LGBT rights, anti-war and anti-racism. On the political spectrum, the party is generally seen as left wing. The GPUS was founded in 2001 as the evolution of the Association of State Green Parties, ASGP, which was formed in 1996. After its founding, the GPUS soon became the primary national green organization in the country, eclipsing the Greens, Green Party USA, G, GPUSA, which formed in 1991 out of the Green Committees of Correspondence, COC, a collection of local green groups active since 1984. The ASGP had increasingly distanced itself from the GGPUSA in the late 1990s. The Greens gained widespread public attention during the 2000 presidential election, when the ticket composed of Ralph Nader and Winona Laduque won 2.7% of the popular vote. Nader was vilified by many Democrats and even some Greens, who accused him of spoiling the election for Al Gore, the Democratic candidate. Nader maintains that he was not a spoiler in the 2000 election. Topic: History. Topic: Early years. The political movement that began in 1985 as the decentralized committees of correspondence evolved into a more centralized structure by 1990, opening a national clearinghouse and forming governing bodies, bylaws and a platform as the Green Committees of Correspondence GCOC, and by 1990 simply the Greens. The organization conducted grassroots organizing efforts, educational activities and electoral campaigns. Internal divisions arose between members who saw electoral politics as ultimately corrupting and supported the notion of an anti-party party, formed by Petra Kelly and other leaders of the Greens in Germany versus those who saw electoral strategies as a crucial engine of social change. A struggle for the direction of the organization culminated a compromise agreement. Ratified in 1990 at the Greens National Congress in Elkins, West Virginia and in which both strategies would be accommodated within the same 527 political organization renamed the Greens, Green Party USA, G, G -P -U -S -A. It was recognized by the FEC as a national political party in 1991. The Compromise Agreement subsequently collapsed and two Green Party organizations have coexisted in the United States since. The Green Politics Network was organized in 1990 and the National Association of Statewide Green Parties formed by 1994. Divisions between those pressing to break onto the national political stage and those aiming to grow roots at the local level continued to widen during the 1990s. The Association of State Green Parties ASGP, encouraged and backed Nader's presidential runs in 1996 and 2000. By 2001, the push to separate electoral activity from the GGPUSA issue-based organizing led to the Boston proposal and subsequent rise of the Green Party of the United States. The G, GPUSA lost most of its affiliates in the following months and dropped its FEC National Party status in 2005. In 2016, Mark Salazar set a new record for a Green Party nominee for Congress. Running in the Arizona 8th District against incumbent Republican Congressman Trent Franks, Salazar received 93,954 votes or 31.43%. Topic. Ideology 
The GPUS follows the ideals of green politics, which are based on the four pillars, namely ecological wisdom, social justice, grassroots democracy and nonviolence. The ten key values, which expand upon the four pillars, are as follows. Grassroots democracy Social justice and equal opportunity Ecological wisdom Nonviolence Decentralization Community-based economics Feminism and gender equality Respect for diversity Personal and global responsibility Future focus and sustainability Peter Camejo was quoted in 2002 as claiming that he was a watermelon green on the outside but red on the inside in January 2004, he initiated the Avocado Declaration, which compares greens to avocados. An avocado is green on the outside and green on the inside. The declaration goes on to explain that greens have a vital role in bringing democracy to the otherwise undemocratic two-party system of the United States, that the greens have a unique and independent identity as a third party, which cannot be subsumed into the Republican or Democratic parties, and that they cannot be dismissed by Republican or Democratic critics by implying that they are merely socialists or communists. The Green Party does not accept donations from corporations, political action committees PACs, 527 C organizations or soft money. The party's platforms and rhetoric harshly criticize corporate influence and control over government, media and society at large. Topic: Political positions. Topic. Economic issues Topic. Healthcare The party supports the implementation of a single-payer healthcare system. They have also called for contraception and abortion procedures to be available on demand. Topic. Education The Green Party calls for providing tuition-free college at public universities and vocational schools, increasing funding for after-school and daycare programs, cancelling all student loan debt, and repealing the No Child Left Behind Act. They are strongly against the dissolution of public schools and the privatization of education. Topic. Green New Deal In 2006 the Green Party developed a Green New Deal unrelated to the democratic version created by Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez that would serve as a transitional plan to an 100% clean, renewable energy by 2030 utilizing a carbon tax, jobs guarantee, tuition-free college, single-payer healthcare and a focus on using public programs. Topic. Social issues Topic. Criminal justice The party favors the abolition of the death penalty, repeal of three strikes laws, banning of private prisons, legalization of marijuana, and decriminalization of other drugs. Topic. Racial justice The Green Party advocates for complete and full reparations to the African American community, as well the removal of the Confederate flag from all government buildings. Topic. LGBT plus rights The party supports same-sex marriage, the right of access to medical and surgical treatment for sex reassignment, and withdrawing foreign aid to countries with poor LGBT plus rights records. Topic. 
Topic: <inaudible> Foreign Policy. The Green Party calls on the United States to join the International Criminal Court and sign the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty and Non-Proliferation Treaty. Additionally, it supports cutting the defense budget in half as well as prohibiting all arms sales to foreign countries. Topic: Iran. Greens support the joint comprehensive plan of action. Topic: Israel Palestine. The Green Party advocates for the right of return, cutting all U.S. aid to Israel, and a one-state solution. It has also expressed support for the International Boycott, Divestment and Sanctions BDS movement. Topic. Structure and composition Topic. Committees The Green Party has two national committees recognized by the Federal Election Commission FEC. The Green National Committee GNC. The Green Senatorial Campaign Committee GSCC. Topic. Green National Committee The GNC is composed of delegates elected by affiliated state parties. The state parties also appoint delegates to serve on the various standing committees of the GNC. The National Committee elects a steering committee of seven co-chairs, a secretary and a treasurer to oversee daily operations. The National Committee performs most of its business online, but it also holds an annual national meeting to conduct business in person. Topic. Caucuses Five identity caucuses have achieved representation on the GNC Black Caucus Latinx Caucus Lavender Greens Caucus LGBTQIA National Women's Caucus Young Ecosocialists Other caucuses have worked toward formal recognition by the GNC Disability Caucus Labor Caucus Indigenous Caucus Elder Caucus Topic. Geographic distribution The Green Party has its strongest popular support on the Pacific Coast, Upper Great Lakes, and Northeast, as reflected in the geographical distribution of Green candidates elected. As of June 2007, Californians have elected 55 of the 226 office-holding Greens nationwide. Other states with high numbers of Green elected officials include Pennsylvania, 31, Wisconsin, 23, Massachusetts, 18, and Maine, 17. Maine has the highest per capita number of Green elected officials in the country and the largest Green registration percentage with more than 29,273 Greens comprising 2.95% of the electorate as of November 2006. Madison, Wisconsin is the city with the most green elected officials, eight, followed by Portland, Maine, seven. The 2016 presidential campaign of Jill Stein got substantive support from counties and precincts with a high percentage of Native American population. For instance, in Sioux County, North Dakota, 84, 1% Native American, Stein gained her best countywide result, 10.4% of the votes. In Roulette County, also North Dakota, 77% Native American, she got 4.7% of the votes. 
Other majority Native American counties where Stein did above state average are Menominee, Y, Roosevelt, MN, and several precincts in Alaska. In 2005, the Green Party had 305,000 registered members in states allowing party registration and tens of thousands of members and contributors in the rest of the country. One challenge that the Green Party as well as other third parties faces is the difficulty of overcoming ballot access laws in many states. Topic: State and District of Columbia parties. The following is a list of accredited state parties which comprise the Green Party of the United States. In addition, the Green Party has a chapter in the United States Virgin Islands. The Green Party does not currently have active state chapters in the Dakotas, or Vermont. Topic. Office holders As of October 2016, 143 officeholders in the United States were affiliated with the Green Party, the majority of them in California, several in Illinois, Connecticut, Maine, Massachusetts, Oregon, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin, with five or fewer in ten other states. These included one mayor and one deputy mayor and 14 county or city commissioners or equivalent. The remainder were members of school boards, clerks and other local administrative bodies and positions. Several Green Party members have been elected to state-level office, though not always as affiliates of the party. John Ader was elected to the Maine House of Representatives, re-elected in 2004, but defeated in 2006. Adi Bach was elected to the California State Assembly in 1999, but switched her registration to independent seven months later running as such in the 2000 election. Richard Carroll was elected to the Arkansas House of Representatives in 2008, but switched parties to become a Democrat five months after his election. Fred Smith was elected to the Arkansas House of Representatives in 2012, but re-registered as a Democrat in 2014. In 2010, former Green Party leader Ben Chipman was elected to the Maine House of Representatives as an unenrolled candidate and was re-elected in 2012 and 2014. Gail McLaughlin was twice elected mayor of Richmond, California, defeating two Democrats in 2006 and then re-elected in 2010, and elected to city council in 2014 after completing her second term as mayor. With a population of over 100,000 people, it was the largest American city with a green mayor. Fairfax, California, Arcata, California, Sebastopol, California, and New Paltz, New York are the only towns in the United States to have had a Green Party majority in their town councils. Twin Ridges Elementary in Nevada County, California held the first Green Party Majority School Board in the United States. On September 21, 2017, Ralph Chapman, a member of the Maine House of Representatives, switched his party registration from unaffiliated to Green, providing the Green Party with their first state-level representative since 2014. Henry John Baer became a member of the Green Party in the same year as Chapman, giving the Maine Green Independent Party and GPUS its second currently serving state representative, though Baer is a non-voting tribal member of the Maine House of Representatives. No nominee of the Green Party has been elected to office in the federal government. Topic. List of national conventions and annual meetings The Green National Convention is scheduled in presidential election years and the annual national meeting is scheduled in other years. The Green National Committee conducts business online between these in-person meetings. 1996 Los Angeles, California 2000 Denver, Colorado 2001 Santa Barbara, California 2002 Philadelphia, Pennsylvania 2003 Washington, D.C. 2004 Milwaukee, Wisconsin 
2005 Tulsa, Oklahoma 2006 Tucson, Arizona 2007 Reading, Pennsylvania 2008 Chicago, Illinois 2009 Durham, North Carolina 2010 Detroit, Michigan 2011 Alfred, New York 2012 Baltimore, Maryland 2013 Iowa City, Iowa 2014 St. Paul, Minnesota 2015 St. Louis, Missouri 2016 Houston, Texas 2017 Newark, New Jersey 2018 Salt Lake City, Utah 2019 Salem, Massachusetts Topic. Presidential ballot access Topic. Electoral results Topic. President and Vice President Topic Congress Topic House of Representatives Topic Senate Topic Fundraising and position on super PACs In the early decades of green organizing in the United States, the prevailing American system of money-dominated elections was universally rejected by Greens, so that some Greens were reluctant to have Greens participate in the election system at all because they deemed the campaign finance system inherently corrupt. Other Greens felt strongly that the Green Party should develop in the electoral arena and many of these Greens felt that adopting an alternative model of campaign finance, emphasizing self-imposed contribution limits, would present a wholesome and attractive contrast to the odious campaign finance practices of the money-dominated major parties. Over the years, some state Green Parties have come to place less emphasis on the principle of self-imposed limits than they did in the past. Nevertheless, it is safe to say that Green Party fundraising for candidates' campaigns and for the party itself still tends to rely on relatively small contributions and that Greens generally decry not only the rise of the super PACs, but also the big money system, which some Greens criticize as plutocracy. Some Greens feel that the Green Party's position should be simply to follow the laws and regulations of campaign finance. Other Greens argue that it would injure the Green Party not to practice a principled stand against the anti-democratic influence of money in the political process. Candidates for office, like Jill Stein, the 2012 and 2016 Green Party nominee for the President of the United States, typically rely on smaller donations to fund their campaigns. Topic. State and territorial parties See also